Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. You are watching CICS Tutorials. So, today uh, it's a continuation to my uh, uh, previous video. As, uh, as I told in my earlier video, I'm coming up with the different modules. So, today's topic is about uh, explaining about the features of CICS and uh, how CICS is important. So, in CICS, uh, it is a transaction. It is called as a transaction processing interface. So, when I say a transaction processing interface, so in the batch you might write a COBOL programs, and uh, you might, uh, if you want to run that COBOL program, first you what you would, the first step you would be compiling the program, and you'd be executing the program, and you'll be seeing the results. Whereas coming to the CICS, the same way you write a COBOL uh, with CICS combined together, and you compile it and you bring back that load module to the online system and each program is initiated with a, a, a transaction ID created that's a four digits uh, four bytes transaction so and with the transactions you are going to initiate your transaction and uh, once a map is displayed so you are going to process the data okay so that's the reason is called as a transaction processing interface so it has to uh, intercommunicate with the different systems and uh, it has to get back you the results okay uh, CHS programs can be written using many languages such as COBOL, PLBAVAN, C, C++, Java or Assembler but the commonly used is a COBOL so most of them are using a COBOL so there are many one uses a PLBAVAN too so, but mostly used is a COBOL and uh, CACS will act as an interface between the MVS operating system and an application program and it is uh, it is used for running online application programs right it is a multitasking and multi-threading environment so when I say multitasking and multi-threading environment so there you have a sort of couple of programs so they that need to be shared by the different users okay for example let me take uh, a, uh, a ATM machine so in ATM machine so when you go to the ATM machine so you insert your debit card and uh, you do a transaction right the first sim the first screen it will ask you for the whether a current account or a saving account then when you select a, a current or saving account the next screen will appear like asking you banking services mini statements check balance and so on so each is nothing but each option is nothing but consider that each option is nothing but a program right so first initially you are initiating a transaction once you insert your uh, debit card so you, you got a first screen onto the ATM machine uh, screen and that is the first screen so from there you are redirecting to multiple screens the multiple screens are interacting at the background in the background the CSS is running and it is trying to change this different screens and uh, multiple users okay so if suppose you are holding on the one card so multiple users can check their balance check their statement at a time how it is possible that is nothing but it's a multitasking or a multi-threading environment okay so that is called as a multitasking multiple users were performing uh, different tasks at a time or trying to access the same program at a time coming to talks about the multitasking and multi-threading okay so these are some of the features of CICS so I would be covering more things like what is a transaction what is a task multitasking and multi-threading in detail pseudo conversation and what are the different conversation normal conversation pseudo conversation what is reentrancy what is quasi reentrancy mm, uh, what uh, what is link xdl and uh, various things what are the what are the system defined tables transactions so i'm going to cover everything so so this uh, this this video is explains about only the features of cics okay uh, i'll be coming up with more videos on the different topics on cics okay so if you like this video you can subscribe me on uh, by clicking on the subscribe button if you have any comment just to give me a comment if you like this video you can like it okay so thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasureful day or an evening